Welcome to the Shadows of the Night. Today we are here in the Bomb Theatre of Welling Garden City where we'll be exploring the stories about the ghosts that apparently haunt this theatre. Will we find those ghosts today? but the barn itself dates back to the 17th century. I think what you've got to remember is that the barn hasn't always been a theatre. Uh, it has been a working dairy barn for a number of years. Uh, it has also been used by um, certain groups. It was requisitioned during the Second World War as a dump for ammunition. Uh, it was also used by uh, religious groups when they first settled into the area. Uh, the barn was used as a meeting house for particular groups of Puritans who were settling in from Northern Europe. There is some information missing from the history books, which are the ghosts that reside in here. I have heard a number of stories. Too many stories, for it's coincidence. It suddenly felt like as if someone was just standing behind me, just here, like just here. But I won't come in here on my own, I don't like it. I think there's two too many stories for it to be a coincidence. There's too many people who, um, who are very down to earth, who would have no reason to make stuff up, that have seen things and experienced things. Um, and actually my own husband had, had, a, had an experience with him. I was rigging lights for a production of Rushing in the Woods and I put my ladder up on the front of house bar. And I was climbing up the ladder just rigging the lights. And as I was rigging the lights, I heard the distinct sound of footsteps coming from behind me. And uh, that scared me, but I also put it to rational thought that it might be the heating. I uh, came down the ladder, went back up the ladder again. When I got to the top of the ladder a second time to rig my final light, yes, I was distinctly hearing footsteps coming from, from behind me, from the area where the green room and the main dressing rooms are. And uh, that scared me enough to think, right, I'm getting out of this building, I'm getting out of this building now. In the 1960s, a stagehand was putting up the scenery for a play. As he was about to dismount the ladder, he heard footsteps in his vicinity. All of a sudden, all the stage lights turned off and it ascended into darkness. Shortly after the stage lights turned back on, he looked at the control panel on the back of the auditorium and realised that nobody was there. I had to came, come down on my own, and it sounds really silly because it doesn't sound very scary at all, but when you're walking down the corridor which is adjacent to the, the stage, and the stage is pitch black, you can, you can just see as you're going past in the wings, you know, glimpses of the stage, and it's such a big space, it really does give you the creeps. Um, and I went into the green room, switched the lights on, <clears throat> and I was making the drinks at the sink. And I thought, this is alright, this is nothing to worry about, I'm fine, don't be ridiculous, you know. Um, and after a while, I don't know whether you've ever had this experience before, but um, the, to me, I suddenly felt like as if somebody was just standing behind me, just here, like just here. And it kind of slowed down what I was doing. And you know when you just sort of think, is there somebody there? And I was too scared to turn round, and I was, I was absolutely petrified. I was to the point of like shaking. I was so scared. Have you witnessed any ghost hauntings here firsthand? Not personally. I've heard of various stories. In fact, I was just told one this morning by Mr. Wallace. <laughs> but um, but no, I've I've heard lots of stories, and lots of people have witnessed this and described the same gentleman. Now we have spoken to all of the employees and witnesses in the Barn Theatre, we're going to see if we can spill us our own hauntings tonight. 